Hey guys, so today we ha are introducing a pretty interesting character, uh, Elizabeth Eden. I'm pretty sure that's probably not her real name. And the first time I met this character was on a subreddit called Free Magic. And if you've ever been there, it's kind of like the dark alley of magic. I, It's... A weird place, right? Out of all the magic reddits, it's probably the darkest of alleys, if you will. But she was posting her content. She was posting pictures and asking people to, hey, do you want to see uh, more revealing? Obviously, the pictures were very revealing. Do you want to see more revealing pictures? Then pay me money. And all of the free magic being... Free Magic all but decided to pay money, I guess. Or at least some of them because he kept posting there. And I thought, hmm, that's pretty interesting. From a marketing perspective, I mean, she knows her demographic. Her demographic is, by definition, that Reddit, subreddit. And she's taking advantage of it. And she is into magic. It seems like she is a real magic player. I always have that discussion with you where I do feel like a lot of people don't play Magic. They don't even have decks. They don't have MTG Arena accounts. Uh, some of them are very open. Like Rudy, we know, doesn't really play Magic. Um, he does the MTG Finance. And some of them, like Wedge, will pretend to play Magic, but it's clear to me he doesn't. You know, I've already, I already put it out there. I will play Wedge now that I have two maxed out MTG Arena accounts and I realize how to play now. Uh, I, you know, I challenge Weds, you know, the best out of free, uh, you know, I'll give him my account, he'll give me his account, and we'll play, and then whoever loses has to quit Magic forever. I'm totally open with that. I've always been, because MTG Arena is pretty easy. Anyway, so Elizabeth Eden is, um, she has OnlyFans. I'm sure that you guys know what OnlyFans is by now. They, they ran commercials on, like, every Magic channel for months and months and you know only fans I, I wasn't even only fans it was like one particular only fan user ran a bunch of commercials and it was really <laughs> crazy you would see back-to-back -back commercials about the product so um they're saying that uh their the code of conduct section two which i'll read for you is that when you post nude or sexual content uh cleavage uh, we're going to kick you out of the creator program. First of all, I didn't even know a creator program existed. Uh, obviously, I did not apply, nor would I ever want to be part of this creator program. Uh, it has come to your attention that you have been distributing magic content that is against our code of conduct, including photo photos featuring adult nudity and sexualizing posting. This is a violation of your participation in magic creator program and magic sponsored events. As a result, you will be removed from the program in accordance to section three of blah, blah, blah. And here is section two. Now, in a very strange kind of bizarre twist, Tolarian Community College comes out and supports. You know, I when I look at, when I think about Tolarian Community College, I wouldn't think he would be the uh, white knight in this case because he's been very Wizard of the Coast. But as of late, he's been very anti-Wizard of the Coast, even though he has his own demons to worry about. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my point is I don't find Elizabeth Eden. I, I just call her Liz. I'll just call her Liz. I don't find her offensive in any way. Um, I don't follow her. It's a little... It's somewhat entertaining uh, in terms of, you know, how attractive is he. It's not really for me. Not really for me, but if other people enjoy it, hey, go for it. Um, and I think this is coming back to Autumn again. You know, we mentioned Autumn's name, but when Autumn hit the scene, everything changed. I mean, as someone who's played Magic since beta, I have never seen such a big change in philosophy. Because Autumn had thousands of knights and all they did was purge. It was almost like they were burning books or something. They were destroying Magic's history, including, obviously, Teresa Nielsen, which I've gone into great detail about. And they're still destroying things. And it's almost like, you know, there's that one group in Afghanistan that I can't mention on YouTube. And when they 
like take over a city, the first thing they do is destroy the museums, deface the artwork, and break the statues. And it's like, mm, okay, so this is a, definitely a very bad organization, but that's what we're doing, right? We're defacing the artwork, ripping the cards, and flushing them down the toilet. So, like, not we, I mean the Knights of Autumn. And the only reason the Knights of Autumn were stopped is because Black Lives Matter <laughs> stopped the Knights of Autumn. As hilarious, not hilarious, I, that's not the right word, as ridiculous as this sounds, because Wizard of Coast and Tolerant Community College and others, including Ephro, got themselves in hot water due to the lack of African-American hires or African-Americans in general, even on Tolerant Community Colleges. You know, they ha he had to apologize. Mero had to apologize. Wizard of Coast had to apologize. Ephro had to apologize. Everyone had to make like a general vague apology. And I'm sure they're desperately looking for a African-American to hire in some capacity so they can say, hey, look, look at us. We, we did it, guys. We did it. We care. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. <laughs> I'm almost certain that they're in a desperate hiring spree, but l unluckily for them, they have very bad glass door reviews and they underpay. So it's not exactly uh, the best position for anyone, uh, African-American, Asian-American, purple dinosaur because they un so grossly underpay you and treat you like garbage at the Wizard of the Coast. So um, this is very interesting. And the reason I find this so fascinating is we have totally done a 180 here since the autumn where attractive people, again, do I find her attractive? No, I, I personally don't, but you know, I'm, that's me, right? Um, attractive artwork. Do you think they can ever print a Liliana of the Veil with that type of artwork for a new... No, they, they're not going to do it anymore. You know, as I talked about, it's Admiral Beckett or nothing. You get a 90-year-old grandmother fully, like, 100... Not that anyone would want the grandmother on, you know, like, showing skin, but I'm just saying it. I mean... I don't know that pirates dress in parkas. I think being a pirate means that you're like in a coastal area and it's really warm. So like, and you can see in the background, everyone else is in, you know, like t-shirts or what, I don't know what it's called, but they're all in summer attire. And then the one Admiral was like in full, like, I mean, it just seems hot. I live in Houston and it seems like really ridiculous that this would be the outfit that you would wear as a pirate. It seems like it's totally like ridiculous, right? A very humid, you know, Houston is humid. I, I just can't imagine it. So, um, yeah, it's a good debate because I think the female form, um, obviously Teresa Nielsen is, has some of the most fantastic artwork when it comes to female form, has been kind of left out of a lot of magic. And this is so different from Fate Grand Order, Fire Emblem. Like, literally, you can name any other game, League of Legends, um, Dota, you can name any other game. And in the summertime, they're actually doing some bikini special or some summer skins. And even over, oh, I think Overwatch has like Olympic skins. And I know Tracer has some other different skins to celebrate certain events on Overwatch. But um, yeah, I mean, Wizard of the Coast just seems to kind of put more clothing on in the summer. And so it's like, uh, okay. I, I mean, I, and then suddenly there's no females at all. It's just dogs and cats now that I think about it. I'm like, wait a second. There's some, when is the last time I saw like a female in this game? I'm playing a dog deck, by the way, in MTG Arena. It's, I mean, I'm not saying it's not great fun. It is great fun. But you do have a content creator. I think that she is useful to Magic the Gathering. It's very similar to... How I you know I was very supportive of Christine Sprankles, and um, I thought she was great for the community because she you know she was a female Magic player who did you know essentially was cosplay at one time and Wizard Coast did abuse her very bad poorly uh, very badly and they should have paid her they should have paid her to use her photo her likeness and so on but of course Wizard Coast is a greedy company look at their glass door reviews. So am I surprised that Wizard Coast decided that, hey, this uh, Elizabeth Eden, 
person, let's kick her out of the creator program because she sexualized Magic the Gathering and that's not allowed. Okay, so how about artists who post the same things? Yep, um, that is true. It's cool because their drawings, very nice, y'all. It's amazing to me, I'm consistently positive. So I don't, I can't speak to her character. I'm only going to speak to um, the current status of Wizard of the Coast is they really don't want attractive females in this game for some reason. Either in the artwork, either being a creator. Um, I mean, Christine Sprankle, the way they treated her just does not indicate to me, hey, we want more uh, attractive or even non-attractive females in this game. We just want more... Uh, I'm going to get in trouble if I say this, but you fill in the blank. You can fill in the blank. If you watch this channel long enough, you can fill in the blank. Um, and that's really weird, right? Uh, it's the whole... Um, I'm not going to get in trouble. Okay, bye guys. But you, you know what I'm talking about.